here's some lava sample, which I just took out of the freezer. And I have a set tin, so it's a little tin that I have poked holes in the top of. I'm going to put the saliva sample into the set tin, put the cap on tightly, and I have a clipper as well as treats. Um, typically, I use high value treats for this, um, but if you have an extremely food motivated dog, then you can use low to medium value. So, Mac thinks that everything is high value, so we're actually just using his kibble um, for this session. Mac just gets a little too excited and isn't able to think when he has too tasty of treats. Ready? So I'm just going to put this down, and anytime he interacts with it, he gets a click and a treat. Good job! Good boy! And if kibble little drops on the floor, or treat drops on the floor, it's no big deal. Let them eat it. This is really just a low stress, um, low criteria game. So anytime he shows interest in this tin, then he gets a click and a treat. Boy, nice, good. Right now, he is not sniffing it at all. He has no idea there's a scent inside. Um, and you can tell because he's just shoving his nose on it. He almost, I think, thinks that this is a game where he pushes the item. Um, and that's completely okay. What we're doing right now is we're building value for this tin. Later on, we'll require him to actually sniff it um, in this next step. But for right now, he's not to that point yet. We have to teach him that this tin is interesting and something worth checking out. Good boy! Because it equals cookies. So this is very low criteria. Anything he does with it is completely fine. Um, a lot of times dogs will offer other behaviors as well. Good boy! And um, so if he was to offer a down, that would be fine. I would just wait for um, Just wait for him to offer a different behavior. Um, because he's had quite a bit of shaping training where he offers behaviors, um, he's learned this very quickly, and so he's repeatedly um, touching this tin, and he knows that that's the goal behavior I have. So you can move it around as they get more confident, just teaching them that the tin itself is what's important, um, no matter where it is in relation to your body. Good boy. And we'll do a couple more successful repetitions, and then what we'll do is we'll just end it. Good boy! End it when he's still excited and he's not bored of the game and he feels confident and then he knows what to do. So do one more. Nice job! Very good. Okay. All done, buddy. And that's it. That's the whole first set training session with Mac. If your dog offers other behaviors, again, that's completely fine. That's completely normal. Pretty much just ignore everything except for rewarding anything that's related to this scenting. Whether they look at it, whether they touch it, um, especially if they sniff it, just teaching them that this, this is valuable and this equals cookies.